There's nothing so tangled up as the jungle, and trunks, branches, or vines have been used by many species as hanging bridges, safety ropes, or platforms. Up here, there's a lot of free food for those who are able to get to it. If you don't have wings, the priority is to hold on tight at all times. Above all at lunchtime, when you need more than four hands to feel safe, since two have to be used to get to the food. Certain animals have found a good solution, a prehensile tail, another extremity that works as a harness, as a safety rope. It's a simple invention that human beings have copied really well and has saved many lives, as well as reaching where we never dared before. A prehensile tail has a strong musculature and outstanding elasticity and it allows for a great level of accuracy and safety on your trips. This is the secret of a good harness. It gives you freedom of movement as well as a good hold. For a rodent like this, the control and mobility of its tail is a progressive evolutionary advance that probably makes food collection easier and allows it to escape from its predators in a new way. The minute harvest mouse is three times smaller than a house mouse and seems aware of the possibilities that the modern design of its monkey tail brings to it. Sometimes it seems the animal is enjoying itself, as if the long and flexible rush stalks were its own amusement park. Its long and slender tail holds onto the vegetation and supports its weight. But like the rest of the long-tailed animals, our mouse also uses it to keep its balance. It's a well-proportioned body extension, and it can be an efficient counterweight. It's likely that this was the origin of such a useful prehensile tool. A long bar-like extremity was used to compensate and balance the body at the riskiest moments. Tightrope walking, however, requires a lot of practice. The rodent has profited the most from its evolutionary advance and has even learned to use it as a rudder if there's no other way out. Our mouse is a good swimmer, but the Tiroline is the invention that best describes it. For man, this secure and comfortable locomotion system is a good manner to move about at a height. And there's nothing better than a cable or a rope to feel safe up above. Very few species have a prehensile tail, however. Evolution has solved the problem by opting for an autonomous safety rope manufacturing system. Butterfly larvae are authentic masters and their tensors are made of the best silk. Caterpillars and spiders have the same safety harness and their techniques coincide as well. They use silk threads on their trips, avoiding the long detours that a fanciful nature would otherwise force on them. Spiders have been silk workers for the last 400 million years. At first they used it to build basic shelters. Then, when they found that silk threads trapped certain insects, they discovered a new and profitable hunting method. In fact, some biologists think that this was what made insects develop wings and start flying. 
It's not surprising that man used the same hunting system as spiders. It's still used nowadays, and it's so efficient that it has been forbidden in many places. It can only be used legally for scientific purposes. To understand the wonderful structure designed by spiders, we have to watch one in action. A huge nephila has started the process by gobbling up the old threads of its previous web. Digestion is really efficient because 80 to 90 percent of the silky material the animal has swallowed will be reused in the new web. With all its silk glands ready, it begins to build its web. The first step is to spin the perimeter struts that are to set the limits and support the whole structure. Afterwards, the radii will be spun. Arachnids show their outstanding spatial perception and make the most of whatever support points are available to weave the largest and best-oriented web. With the final result already in mind, the spider will complete the net with a bit of fancy hip action. The work shows some surprising details. The threads are not equal. Most of them are covered with glue to prevent prey from escaping. But the spider will move basically over the radii that are not glued. In addition, its legs are oil covered, and in a tough battle, it won't get stuck in its own trap. Another detail, mesh and thread to thread separation are measured and designed according to the size of the prey that inhabit the place in that season. And according to the type of prey such a skilled hunter wants to catch. <laughs> 